Holly and Dan dream of living in one of Toronto's most exclusive neighborhoods. Sounds very, very expensive. Is this what Toronto has to offer in our price range? I really hope not. But will this couple manage to work with what's available in their price point? No. It's pretty loud. I'm, d I'm done with this house. There are some issues that you're not willing to accept. Right. Yet. Dan and Holly are newlyweds with successful careers who can't wait to get out of their neighborhood and their rental unit. They have a long list of wants, so I'll have to focus in on what's most important for these property virgins. Professionally, I am an electrophysiology procedure specialist. I work in sales and account management for an insurance company in group benefits. Our lifestyle is uh, pretty hectic. We both have pretty serious careers, but on the side, we like to have a lot of fun. We've been married for two weeks now, and I have to say it's been the best two weeks ever. Dan is a fabulous husband, and I'm so excited to spend the rest of my life with him. Can you see the ring? Can you see the ring from here? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and we're now married. Um, we're in love. We want to start a family, and, uh, and we'd love to have a place together that we can call our own. All right. Dan, uh, how are you doing over there? Good. I found your jacket. Perfect. We have a lot of things in common. One of them is uh, actually dressing up. We both did a lot as children, and now we have a lot of theme parties. Uh, we actually have two tickle trunks of costumes in our house. There you go. Try that. What do you think? Mm. Oh, a rock! Oh, yeah. <laughs> our, our apartment right now is really nice. Uh, it's kind of small. It's a one-bedroom sort of loft with an office upstairs uh, in the bedroom. But it would be nice to have a bit more space, a little more privacy. If we have friends over or family over, it'd be nice to have a, another bedroom where we could actually have people stay. My preference would be more to find a house that's polished, that's move-in condition, and that's got all the, the nice sort of bells and whistles. I think we just both envision the same kind of home. Uh, we both grew up in smaller uh, cities, so we want that small city feel, that kind of big home but in the core, because we love Toronto. In addition to wanting a two-story, detached home in a great neighborhood, these two have an extensive wish list. Ideally, in a home, we would like to have three bedrooms. Two bathrooms. An open concept, spacious, bright kitchen. A south or west facing backyard. A basement that has a ceiling height that's quite high. Parking. As much as I say we have a budget and we have a number on a piece of paper, I think that when our heartstrings get sort of, you know, pulled and we find that special house, I think I'm going to be able to really stretch myself more than I'm thinking today to get the, what I'm looking for. Holly and Dan have been pre-approved for $800,000 with a down payment of $90,000 for a total of $890,000. Holly and Dan chose affluent High Park, Swansea as their ideal Toronto neighborhood. This area has that small city vibe with large stately homes. This is an absolutely stunning neighborhood, but tell me what it is about it that attracts you. Well, I think we really like the fact that each house in this neighborhood is different from the next. So mm -hmm. it's got this incredible uniqueness about it. Mm -hmm. And just being able to enjoy the neighborhood that we live in uh -huh. is pretty key. Separated, uh, detached okay. homes is important for us. I'm seeing a floor plan that has a kitchen, dining room, living room in a nice flow from one to the next. Exactly. Having space, you know, a big backyard for entertaining, mm -hmm. uh, gardening. Maybe having a hot tub. Sounds yeah. very, very expensive. So now let's move on to the money. You've been approved for $890,000, 90 of which is your down payment. Right. Okay. Are you comfortable with that number? Well, we've discussed it and we're thinking 600000 is probably about the most that we'd like to spend. 90 of that is your down payment, right? Correct. Right. Okay. Well, now let's have a guess at what one of these homes would cost you. Which home do you like? One All of like. them, I know. <laughs> yeah. This one here? Sure. Like okay. That. What do you think? It's going to be over a million, I'm sure. It's um, eight or nine hundred thousand, maybe? I would say it's seven yeah. figures. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to try to take your wish list and maybe introduce you to neighborhoods that you haven't even considered before. Okay. And try to sort of marry your wish list with your budget so that you're comfortable living in that home as well and you can enjoy your lives. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Sounds good. Well, let's get started. All okay. Right. It's pretty evident that this is probably not the street we're going to buy on. Unfortunately, with our budget, we're probably going to have to look elsewhere. 
I'm really glad that Dan and Holly haven't pinpointed one specific neighborhood, and they've given me great information about what they are looking for. And that opens up all kinds of beautiful neighborhoods in and around the city. But that also means I'd better get busy. First up, Dufferin Grove. This popular, diverse neighborhood borders on two main streets for great pedestrian lifestyle and offers detached homes at a more reasonable price. Listed at $569.9, this fully detached two-bedroom home has a newly updated kitchen and granite floors for a really polished look. And because it's priced lower than their budget, they can afford to renovate to their tastes. This is a very desirable neighborhood, and I thought you should check something out in the West. So go on in, have a look, and I'll meet you inside. Hey. Great. Yeah. Okay, so nice foyer. Definitely has a presence right when you walk in. I like that. That's good. I'm not really feeling this floor. I don't know. What do you think? Um... I guess kind of this forward. is the living room. It just feels a little bit maybe cool with the flooring and the wood. It would be such a shame to tear out granite, but I don't really like it a lot. With a house at this price point, they can afford to change it if they want. Yeah, it, it's a bit odd how it changes here too, right? It's not overly spacious though. There's not a lot of no. covered space. This right? is way too small for us, I think. Or this is smaller than what we have now. I don't see it working at all. I don't know. It's just it's not the layout that we want. So let's go outside. Okay. Oh, this is good. At least it's bright back here. It's so really spacing. Really sunny. This is actually a good sized backyard. For Toronto, I guess, yeah. Yeah? Our garage, maybe. Oh, nice. Uh -huh. Giant man cave. Look at this. Wow. This is my favorite feature so far. That's kind of sad. Yeah, I don't really like any of this wood on the floor either. It's different colors and I don't know. I like dark wood more. This Master one. bedroom? No. Then this is entirely too small for us. We're missing part of a house. Oh, the <laughs> there's only two bedrooms. This would be the single bathroom of the house, right? A little tight, but functional. Had some updating, right? A little I bit. like the tile. Nothing too exciting, but... Let's check out the basement. Okay. More ah, tile. All right. We have a basement apartment. There's a kitchen. There's no door. <laughs> what kind of apartment has no door? I really want to feel excitement in our house search, but so far I, I just, it's this, hard for me because I don't, I'm disappointed. I don't feel like this is, is, is really this what Toronto has to offer in our price range? I really hope not. Holly know the type of home they want. Three bedroom, two baths, uh, really open concept. Detached okay. homes is important for us. That sounds yeah. very, very expensive. But with such high standards, are these virgins able to see the value in this first place? There's not a lot of covered space. No. A little tight. Is really? this what Toronto has to offer in our price range? I really hope not. Okay, so talk to me. What do you think? Not feeling this house at all. I'm, yeah. I'm trying to think of really great things to say, but <laughs> there's not a, not a ton. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't want you to lie to me. Yeah. So tell me, what don't you like about it? So just so that we can avoid another house like this. Well, the kitchen, for example, it's nice that it flows into the living room space, but it's not even close to being big enough. Yeah. Um, it's definitely too small. Um, the bedrooms upstairs are very small. small. Closet space is too mm -hmm. small. Bathrooms too small. We do <laughs> like that it's it's a, a detached house. That's nice. So you got one is that thing. <laughs> okay, give me a guess on price. Oh, Even though yeah. this really doesn't suit you, what do you think the price is? I'd say like four seventy-five. Really? I was gonna say closer to five, maybe five forty-nine, five fifty-nine. Yeah. Well, if it was a game show, you'd probably win. Ooh. The list price is five sixty-nine nine. Wow. What? Really? Yeah. That's brutal. Well, it is detached, and I think that, that yeah. probably plays into it a bit. So would you consider a semi-detached then? Yeah, I think so. We'll have a look at least. Okay. I think we'd consider it. It wouldn't be a complete deal breaker, I'd say. Okay. Okay, There's that's a possibility. good. That's a big change. Yeah. I was really hoping to see something that was more in line with what we're looking for. The layout's not right. I personally am not a fan of the neighborhood either. I mean, I, I know we're going to have some compromising, but I feel like pretty much the whole house is a compromise. There's a big disconnect between their dream and the reality. We have our work cut out for us. Luckily, there are lots of great neighborhoods in Toronto to explore, like North Riverdale. 
With parks and great shops both within walking distance, this sought-after area should appeal to these virgins. Listed at 550000 this semi-detached home offers great value for the location, including an open-concept first floor I think Holly will like, with hardwood floors, an eat-in kitchen, and a second-story deck. So in this area, the homes are a little bit older, but this one is done up inside, so you'll get that modern feel. Oh, great. But keep in mind, it is a semi-detached. It's not detached. Oh. Huh. See, they've done some work with the staging. Yeah, looks it pretty looks, good though. I'm not sure about this entranceway though. I feel like you walk in and immediately you're in the living room. There's not a lot of space. I like the old floors. These are original, right? That's kind of nice. It's got like a nice open concept. Well, I like the flow this way into the kitchen. Hmm. Oh, wow. Okay, then this is the kind of kitchen I like. Yeah. Very nice. It's a lot bigger than what we have now. This is perfect. I could definitely see us like cooking up a storm. Yeah. What right do you think here. We need an island, I think though. With these discerning property versions, there's always room for improvement. A matching island would only set them back a grand or so, and it's easy to do. The basement. Okay, look. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not hitting my head. This up. is nice. This is surprising. Check out the paint. What do you think? <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's a bathroom. Whatever. Yeah. It's not our main bathroom. It's fine. What do you think about maybe making some like shelving units or some second storage space? Because I feel like it's just one big open space, really. The fact that we have the space is all we need, right? Right. The backyard. It's pretty loud. Yeah, you know what, you're right. It's really close to the street. These look like new stairs. That's newer wood, right? We've got a den, maybe? It's a good lounge room or office. This would be good. Oh, wow, this is great. Fantastic. Ooh. This is nice. Definitely would enjoy sitting out here with the coffee. Okay, I like this place a lot more now. This is good. Um, but do you notice the neighbors are right beside us with the same setup? Like it almost feels as though our decks are connected. Oh, yeah. look at this, the bathroom. Gee, that's really nicely done. I oh, like the tile. Oh, this is really, wow, Very look at nice. the shower head. That's, I don't know what that is, but wow, that's pretty awesome. Wow, that looks pretty snuggy. Uh, I'm gonna turn it on. Uh, whoa. whoa, that is amazing. What? Right. Okay, it's getting wet. Turn it off. <laughs> okay, that in itself is pretty cool. That is the coolest shower I've yeah. ever seen. This would be the master Look at that big bedroom. window. That's great. Lots okay. of space. We could definitely fit our king size bed in here. Whoa. Hello. Oh, you can walk right in. Here, let me come in with you. Uh, ah. We'll be right back. <laughs> Newlyweds Holly and Dan seemed wowed by this renovated Toronto home. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, wow. This is great. But is this semi detached in a great neighborhood going to satisfy these perfectionists? I'm not sure about this entranceway. I feel like it's just one big open space, really. It's a bathroom, whatever. It's pretty loud. So, what do you guys think? Well, there's things about it I like, and there's things I'm not so sure about. It's south-facing, which we really like. Yes. Um, it is a beautiful kitchen. It's very large, mm -hmm. and it's all been updated. But you're not smiling. Why? <laughs> um, <laughs> That's scaring me. It's not totally open concept. Yeah, the kitchen does feel a little bit closed off from the rest of the house, mm -hmm. and I think we both would just prefer that it be more attached to the rest of the house. Okay. I think one of the bigger concerns I have anyway is the noise. We're right at a busy street. We're not sure about parking as well. We haven't seen There's parking. There's a parking spot. So. There's actually a garage. Yes, that's the shed we couldn't get into. Okay. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Good. So go ahead, guess the price. Around 500? I don't know. That was probably exactly what I was going to really? say to you. I should have gone first. The price is 550. Wow. So I guess this is kind of a learning experience for you in seeing what just over a half a million dollars gets you. Mm -hmm. Notwithstanding all the beautiful features of this home, there are some issues that you're not willing to accept. Right. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can do better. I really think we're going to find something that's going to meet more of our needs and that we're going to have that, that sort of feeling when we open the door that it's the one. Yeah, something's missing. It doesn't have exactly what we wanted. 
Well, I don't know if we're going to find exactly what they want, but we're certainly going to try. So we're going to up and coming South Riverdale, where these virgins can get more of their long wish list at their price point. With an asking price of $549.9, this three-story semi-detached home has been renovated to include all the modern conveniences and it has the exact layout Holly's been holding out for. Based on what you guys have told me through the house tours, I really want you to take a look at this home. Give it a shot, go on in, have a look, and I'll meet you inside, okay? Mm. Wow. I love this layout. It's hardwood floors, Let's very nice. It. Oh, I love this. I love the huge yeah. right window in the front. That's great. This is nice open concepts. This is exactly like what we wanted. This kitchen is just amazing. Look at this. Wow. I love the tile. I love the this is stunning. quartz countertop. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm this. kidding. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, significantly uh, Nicer than what it's I think we were expecting. Yeah, it's been completely updated. Look at this backyard. Wow. Wow, this is great. Ooh. Nice west-facing backyard. Definitely some room for some gardening. Perhaps yeah. a hot tub right here. Uh, I'm not sure about the blue color, but it's nice that it's already all sort of private, right? Yeah, I kind of like the angle. It's inviting to come upstairs, you know? It's got a bit of design Come on to it. upstairs. Okay. <laughs> so this is sounding better. Looks like Holly's ideal layout is scoring points, and the next two floors might just seal the deal. Bedroom. Bedroom number one. We haven't really said anything anything negative at all about this house yet. Is that because it's... It's what do you good. Think? It's, it's great. I don't know. I mean, I'm not fine, having trouble finding things wrong with it. I, mean, I am too. I like let's it. keep going. Okay. Ooh. Looks a little... So we found a project. Yeah, looks looks like it could be updated, eh? All right. So what is... Is this a door know. to something else? Look at this walkway. Oh my gosh, Dan. Oh, I like the floor. It's a ensuite. It's a master ensuite. Oh, cuties up there. It's a walk-in closet. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just like you wanted. Wow. This is great. This Holy is smokes. a great bedroom. Look how big it is. This is a great window, too. Look how bright it is in here. Yeah. I'm really liking this house. So I'm excited. I. Let's keep looking. Wow, there's another floor. Look at that oh, color. Oh, there's a skylight, Dan. <laughs> Look how bright it is in here. Wow, I love it. So it really... this is the office, I guess. This would be the Very office. Cool. And it's west facing, so you've got nice. sun in the afternoon. It would be nice and bright. Look how huge that window is. The skylight is amazing. The skylight's really, really nice. Okay, so we got another bathroom. Wow, Very second nice. bathroom. Oh my gosh, there's a shower behind here. Really? Yeah. Wow. Oh, great. that's great. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is bedroom number three. This wow. would be a th the third bedroom plus the office. This place is huge. Okay, so we agree that we really like this house, but it's in a better neighborhood than we've seen so far, and it's definitely a lot nicer. I'm nervous that it might be out of our price range, and so I don't want to get too, you know, too emotionally attached to it. For Holly and Dan, this Toronto house fulfills their extensive wish list. I love this. <laughs> but now that they've seen a real contender, are they prepared to pay the price? I'm nervous that it might be out of our price range, so I don't want to get too emotionally attached to it. Okay, so what do you think? It's fabulous. We love it. Love this house. Um, the layout. I mean, the kitchen is really fabulous, but just the flow from the right from the front door through to the sitting area in the living room, the dining space in the kitchen is just mm -hmm. perfect. We just really love the open concept. There's some small updates that need to be done. The bathroom on the second floor, a couple little things, and I'm wondering about the roof as well. Now there's no parking. Yeah. Yeah. That laneway at the back gives you access to your backyard. So you could put a nice stone down and maybe a pergola and have a barn door sliding gate to bring the cars in when you want mm. to. If you decide you like this house, we like it. We like the house. Okay, but you don't know the price yet, so I know. take a guess. We're nervous. 
It's uh, what we wanted and more. So yeah. I'm guessing it's got to be probably 600, more than the other ones. Maybe 620 or something? 620, 600. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, the asking price is 549.9. Wow. <laughs> really? Really? Really. Wow. Really. I, that's surprising. So what do you think on a scale of 1 to 10, now that you know the price? Uh, 11. And what's even more shocking, it has been on the market for two weeks and hasn't moved. That is very shocking. Yeah, wow. I'm okay. surprised at that. Yeah. I would recommend making a quick decision on this. I don't think there's any need to keep looking. I think we found... Are you serious? You guys yeah. don't want to go away and have a chat? You don't want to sleep on it? I think we're ready. Yeah, I think this is the one. Okay, guys, you were very anxious in the home. Are you still that anxious? Absolutely. So we've actually had several friends uh, that have been hunting for over a year and have gone five, six, seven uh, multiple offers before they finally got a house. So we really want to avoid that situation. There was an offer about a week ago and it came in below asking and it was not accepted. It was rejected by the seller. Go in at full price, which is what I'm going to recommend. And if you get this home, even at full price, it's the best deal I've seen in a long time. Wow. Great. Yeah. I like the sound of that. Yeah. Keep All your fingers right. crossed. Great. Thanks. <laughs> It's a great house, it's perfect for us. What time is it? Oh, I just want somebody to call right now and tell us some news, you know? Did we get it or did we not? <laughs> you wanna watch Property Virgins? <laughs> Hi. How did the waiting go? It's been okay. a long two hours, I have to say. I know, and it actually took a little bit longer than I thought because the sellers had to sign so much because they accepted your deal. Ah! Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Thank you so much, yeah. Oh, my pleasure. So Congratulations. Oh, so I'm nice. so happy for you. This is wow. a phenomenal deal. Wow. Well done, you wow. guys. Marriage and mortgage awesome. in just a couple of weeks. Wow. Yes. Ah. Dan and Holly are a couple who definitely knew what they wanted. And for first-time homebuyers, they had a decent budget so they could afford to be picky. Luckily, they didn't have to wait long to find a home that fulfilled just about everything on their wish list. Losing my property virginity was a lot of fun. It was uh, pretty quick and painless, and the rewards are fantastic. It happened very fast. I would say the worst part of this whole experience was having a lot of doubt, thinking we wouldn't be able to get what we wanted. We saw a couple houses at the beginning that were nowhere near what we wanted, and uh, I was kind of concerned that we would have to spend way more money than we could afford. Mm -hmm.